What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Insta Curly Natural, back at it again with another video for y'all. Looking a little different. Face is a little beat, you know what I'm saying? This is actually like a beginner's face because it's been a year or two since I last did my makeup. I see I'm not that rusty, okay? But that's not what this video is about, okay, y'all? Today's video is going to be about the top knot or high bun. You know, I never really know the different definitions. I always thought a top knot was like the bun that sits all the way up top, all the way up top. And I always thought that just a regular bun sits back. But I really like my buns up high like this. And I put a little twist to it because initially I was going to do like a neat, sleek bun. But I really like the messy look. I like the little curls on the side because they kind of conceal my big ass forehead. But I really, really love this look. This was done on an old braid out, a week old braid out. I just needed something done to it until I can make it to another wash day, kind of extending my wash day because I was supposed to wash my hair yesterday. <laughs> but we're going to skip a couple days. You know, it don't hurt nothing. I just, I don't got the time right now. Sis. I don't got the time. But anyway, you could really dress a top knot up any kind of way you want. You can do elegant. You can do cute and cozy you can do tomboy you can do anything change these earrings you only gotta wear makeup sis like bad hair day bunny okay if you guys want to see how i got this cute cute top bun then make sure y'all keep on watching but first i need you to hit that subscribe button because i post lit pop-in content every single week also, I need you to make sure you hit that notification bell right next to that subscribe button so that you're notified every single time I post a lit popping video. And with that being said, sis, let's get into this messy, cute top knot button. All right, guys. So, yeah, I told y'all I'm starting on an old braid out. So, that's why my hair is looking so crazy. It looks really crazy and bad being blue y'all it looks a mess okay it's dried out it's time for a wash but i ain't ready yet so what we gonna do we gonna refresh and pull that thing up so we starting off with our best friend which is water I'm taking this water and I am spraying it all around the perimeter of my hair, front, back, and the sides, just to give me some elasticity because y'all, my hair was super dry, like Sahara Desert dry. Also, I need this. It's like a base to put down the products that I'm gonna be putting down next. To refresh my scalp, I'm adding the As I Am Olive Oil and Tea Tree Oil Treatment to my scalp. I have really, really bad dry scalp. And by me skipping this wash day, y'all, yeah, I'm trying. Well, my scalp really isn't that bad, but I'm trying to prevent any scabs from happening since I plan on wearing this bun for a couple extra days. So, yeah, I had to hit it with this oil. So once I put it all on my scalp, I'm going to take the little pads of my fingers and just gently, it don't look like I'm gently rubbing it, but I'm just rubbing it all on my scalp, all throughout. Now I'm taking the Main Choice Restorative Spray and I am spraying it also on my edges. Um, you don't have to do this step. I'm really just doing this step to kind of, I guess, protect my hair and restore some of the definition that I had. But you don't have to do this step. I just like to have a lot of definition in my bun. So that's why I added this. I'm taking a little bit more water. And then I'm going in with the Edge Booster Gel. This is in the blueberry scent. And I love this, y'all. Because this gel gives my hair so much shine. Like, it really brings my hair back to life. And I'm taking this gel and I'm putting it on the perimeter where I put that water. I'm putting it all the way around, front, sides, and back. The reason why I use the Edge Booster Gel over the wet line and all those other gels is because this gel really gives my hair so much shine, y'all. 
hands down this is like one of my favorites for low buns high buns this is the top staple so now i'm just gonna take my board brush board bristle brush let me say that it's a board bristle brush it's a little hard but i love it because it lays down them curls it's, it lays them curls so basically what i do to kind of figure out where my bun is going to be how high it's going to be is i kind of gauge it and then i split my hair into two sections exactly where i want that bun to lay so i want my bun to lay a little bit at the top of my head so i'm taking most of the hair and pushing it back and the little bit that i'm sectioning up front is going to be um the front half of my bun now I'm taking the water and spraying the back section because my hair is way more dense at the top of my head so because my hair is way dense if your hair is way dense you're gonna probably have to do this step too especially if you're doing your hair on old hair because it's already big so I'm just taking section by section and adding water and gel and then I'm brushing each section all the way up to where that part is y'all don't mind my parting okay because this don't even matter don't judge me this part don't even matter because you won't even see this I'm just parting it into thinner sections so that I can put gel and water well I do the water first and then the gel and then I brush each section up to make it nice and smooth if you don't do this step and you have very dense hair says you're gonna have lumps and bumps everywhere okay i did kind of do these steps when i did my low bun if you guys want to check that out i will put that in the description box but yeah this is really kind of self-explanatory i'm just taking section by section adding water and then adding gel and then brushing that section up to the top and adding a clip i'm not adding a scrunchie yet i'm adding a clip because i am constantly adding section by section to the big section if that makes sense i take a section spray it with water add the gel brush it up add the clip repetitively until i get to the very back which is where i'm at now then I'm gonna take my water bottle and do the same exact thing. So once I get the back brushed up, I'm gonna take a clip out and then I'm going to brush it all up. It's already brushed up because we did it section by section. So this part, you should have no issues with it. I'm just taking it, that whole section and brushing it up and then i'm going to put a satin scrunchie on this section as well sis your arms should be hurting if your arms ain't hurting you ain't doing it right no nah, but for real y'all my arms was burning i felt the burn for real so now we're going back to the top section taking that scrunchie out i'm gonna brush it right back up gel everything is still on the front section so i'm just taking my brush and brushing it right back up okay so once i take down the front section i'm going to also take down the back section and it may look a little kind of productive because we just brushed all this hair up but at this point your hair should be formed to go to the top of your head so i'm taking the back section out and i'm using these hair ties that i got from target they're the goodie hair ties for thick hair i'll make sure to leave it down in the description box where you can get these at but i got mine at target I love them. They work great for my low ponies, high ponies, puffs, buns, all of that. So I'm just going to take all that hair that's gathered to the top and I'm going to put that scrunchie on. Or I'm still hurting. <laughs> um, you want to be gentle when putting on these type of hair ties because these kind of snag onto your hair. 
Um, so I carefully put my scrunchies on like this or my hair ties. I carefully put them on because my curls get tangled in these type, kind of hair ties. So please just be slow because buns are supposed to be protective. Okay. So we want to be easy. Okay. Be easy. I do look a little rough on camera, but I promise y'all I'm not being as rough as it looks. I promise. Once I get it all up into that ponytail, I'm just brushing my edges all around just to smooth them back out. In the back, I don't know if y'all could tell, but I did have like some straightaways because I do have some shorter sections in the back of my hair. So I'm just applying a little bit more gel to kind of help lay that down. And then here is the 360 of what my ponytail is looking like y'all it's it's popping y'all it's all nice and neat i ain't got no lumps and bumps okay so to get to the bun this is kind of difficult to kind of explain but basically what i'm doing is just wrapping the hair at the base and then i'm kind of working my way up if that makes sense probably not but <laughs> y'all see it i'm taking a little thin ponytail holder i got these from target as well will be linked in the description and i'm just putting that over top of the bun to hold everything that i twisted into place and this kind of gives me like a base to work with now i'm taking a pick and i'm kind of lifting my bun if you have shorter hair, you might not be able to do this without it coming out of a ponytail holder. Um, so in that case, I'll advise you just to use your hands and kind of pull and shape your bun how you want. I like my bun more of like a donut style versus like tall and, you know, kind of compact. I like it kind of wide and like a donut. <laughs> Um, but I also like some hairs, kind of some stray curls, kind of straggling, so you can see that definition. <laughs> but yeah, you just kind of play with it how you want it, like how you want your bun to be shaped. Play with it like that. Okay. So now I'm taking some water and I'm kind of refreshing because by now my hair has kind of dried out. So I'm just taking just a little bit more of that Eco Styler. Eco Styler? Is it called Eco Styler? edge booster not eco style i'm so sorry i'm taking the edge booster gel and applying it reapplying it to some parts of my hair and just brushing it back up now y'all i use a lot of gel for my sleeks my updos my protective styles a lot of times i use a lot of gel because my curls don't know how to behave you know they just pop back out but they kind of lay right now. So now we're going to edges. And I'm using Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel for my edges only, y'all. I'm only using this for my edges because for some reason the Eco Styler kind of lays my hair kind of how I want it. But it wouldn't lay it to the point where it's going to stay like that. The reason why I don't use the Edge Booster Gel, not the gel. I haven't tried the Edge Booster Edge Control Gel yet. Um, but it doesn't really do good on my edges. It's like, like I said, y'all, my curls do what they want to do. And when it comes to my edges, the edge booster does not do it for me. I have to use Eco Styler. And it's so crazy because I only use Eco Styler for my edges. I don't use it for wash and goes or none of that. But, yeah. So, now I'm taking a bristle, a bristle, I can't even speak, y'all. Now I'm taking that bristle brush. <laughs> and just brushing down my edges you can use an edge brush i don't like using edge brushes um i can't get them down i don't know what it is why it's so hard for me but i guess because i'm used to using this brush for everything so i use this brush to lay down my edges this right here y'all ain't gotta lay out edges like me because i'm not a pro at laying edges i just lay them how i like them but yeah at this point this is what i do with the ego so I didn't show this on camera, but I am using Gas to Be Glued for my edges as well. Um, so let me explain to y'all. <laughs> Cause y'all probably like, dang girl, why so many gels? Okay, so I use the Eco Styler gel to kind of mold the edges while I'm on the go. 
And then I take the Gatsby glue and I put that over top to solidify those edges because the eco alone does not leave it'll lay my edges but only for a short amount of time if i'm in heat or i'm a little hot or whatever them curls are gonna pop back up so the got to be gel just lays down the hair and i use them both in conjunction because the eco is it makes my hair more movable to shape and then once it's shaped, like I said, the got to be just kind of solidifies it into place. I wanted you guys to kind of see how my her her <laughs> how my hair is curling back up. Y'all see those curls? Like I just put all that gel down and brushed it, and them curls are still popping back out. That's how I ended up with this messy bun, y'all. Because I, I honestly tied it down. Usually when I tie my hair down, my curls lay. But for some reason, they wasn't trying to lay this time. Um, but usually when I tie them down for a long extended amount of time. Not long extended amount, but usually about 30 minutes. Once the hair is somewhat dried down, then I could take the scarf off. I took my scarf off a little early, so I got the little curls for baby hair. It's so cute. So I'm taking my long scarf and I'm just going to attempt to lay down them curls. As y'all can see, I don't lay my baby hairs down like the actual baby hairs because it messes up for me for some reason. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but when I lay my scarf exactly on top of my edges, they move and the curls pop back out and it just be looking a mess. So I just tie them um, where I want them to be secured at in hopes that that works. Usually it works, but... For some reason, this time it didn't, but it came out really cute. Everything happens for a reason, y'all. <laughs> so now I'm going to show y'all what it looked like after. And this is what we're looking like, y'all. Cute makeup done, makeup did, looking bomb or whatever. Y'all see the definition in that bun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Deuces.